A lot of people seem to be waiting for the next big version of Godot. It is pretty common in times like this, where we are kinda close and far away from a stable release, that people will ask things like, should I wait until Godot 4 is out to start my project? I've been myself in that dilemma before. I remember having it many times with different technologies. And what I've learned with the time is that, no, you shouldn't wait because if you're starting something out, it is better to work on it now than waiting. A common argument is that Godot version X doesn't have this feature, so I will wait until that feature is out to start working on my game. But in reality, there is no feature that is preventing you from starting. Juan recently tweeted about the speculation on the timeline for Garot 4, and while he keeps it positive that we will see the first builds going out soon, Akien, Garot's project manager and maintainer, already made a joke about the possible delay. The thing is, with projects as big and complicated as a game engine, and having an open source structure and community behind it, things become unpredictable. So if anything goes wrong, how long are you willing to postpone your project? Many times when we have a game idea, it sounds great on your head, and when you actually implement it, well, it doesn't really work as you imagined. The main issue here is that until you try it out, you don't really know how it will feel to play. Will it be fun? Does it make sense to build? To answer those questions, prototyping is usually a good way to get a better picture, but if you're waiting for some technology to be released, you will not know if your project works until then. So imagine waiting 6 months to start working on it, and then realizing that you still have to learn how to use the tools, or that your idea is just not fun. Why not start now? You can start today with Godot 3, and if your idea works, hey, you can port it to the new version of Godot whenever that is out. Just in case you want to get a better picture of how porting your game from Godot 3 to Godot 4 will be like, I'm gonna do a quick example. So you can get an official Godot build if you don't want to build the engine. I did a video about this, but it's very simple. Come here, download this or whatever platform you are. You should be good to go with the latest version of Godot. It's gonna be broken right now, but it might not be in the future or this gets you a bit closer to what you might encounter. So I'm going to import this Godot 3 project, which is an unfinished version of the box maze that we had in the tutorial that I did. And as you can see, it's loading at least. Like we see our graphics here, the sprites are not pixelated as before, and a few things have changed. But I don't have to do anything crazy to open the project in Godot 4. Let's see how porting your game from Godot 3 to Godot 4 might look like if you're working with something as simple as this tutorial that I did which is realistically what you can, you know, get out of a prototype and the workflow will stay the same no matter what the size of your project is. So first thing is try to run it. Can it run? Is it going to give me an error? Let's try. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay, an identifier. Okay, so this is the first thing that you might want to change. There are two main issues that you need to look on the current GitHub issues, which will guide you a little bit on how things got updated. I'm gonna leave links in the description, but they are very easy to understand. You just need to make a few changes to make this work. In this case, the already needs to be written like this. So this will be the same. In this case, we save. Okay, sorry. We stop the game, save, play again. And let's see the next error. Okay, we have the same problem in another one. Okay, so we do the same. We stop the game, we save, we try it again. So the game is there, we see it. When I press any key, I get an error. Okay, why is that? So, invalid set index, cast two, based on raycast 2D, we type, okay. So, open the second issue that I linked, which is the one with name changes in Godot. And here I can search cast to, okay, rename, you see, rename cast2 to, to target position. Okay, so instead of cast2, we're going to use target position. Let's go to our game. Here, cast2, target position. Let's save. Stop this, let's save. And on the other one, I remember we had this, cast2. Okay, we save. Let's try the game again. And I can move. The number is doing okay i can move this okay so as you can see everything is working as expected the only thing left would be this the sprite being blurry and before in godot 3 you needed to select a, a sprite in this case the player sprite and on the import you needed to change it 
right now you don't have to touch that. You need to go to project, project settings, canvas textures, default texture filter to nearest. This will make it look pixelated and we see that it is working and everything is super sharp. And we try the game again. And you have this project from Godot 3 working in Godot 4. Why wait, you can start your prototype, learn how Godot works, and later when Godot 4 releases, you just update those few things you have here and there and you should be fine. Even if you get pretty far and you want to finish your game in the current version of the engine, when Godot 4 releases, version 3 is not going to go away. It's gonna be there. You will still be able to use it. And as you can see with previous versions of the engine, changes are still being added and support is still given for those versions. So you just won't have the cutting edge stuff, but most of the features are still going to be maintained. And depending on the kind of game you're doing, you might not even need the Godot 4 features. Right now, I'm working on a big project, which is Dialogic, a plugin to make dialogues easier. This will need a lot of updates whenever Godot 4 comes out, so it will probably delay me a bit, but I'm happy that the plugin I made can be used right now and probably will be ready before Godot 4 releases. If I would have waited, we wouldn't have been so close to version 1 as we are right now with this plugin. So in conclusion, Godot 4 will be an amazing release, but there's no reason to wait until it's out to start learning or using Godot 3. As you saw, it is not that hard to transition your content to a newer version of Godot, so why wait? Thank you very much everyone, especially to all my Patreons, I really appreciate it. And if you want to come and chat, I'm always online on the Discord. There's a lot of nice people there and a lot of good conversations are happening. And we are preparing a few things for the future, so if you want to take a peek on what's coming next, you can always join there. Thank you very much for staying here and see you guys next time.